Hello student, welcome to today's class. In the previous lesson, we discussed the socio-political and economic impacts of colonial rule on Nigeria. I made it clear in the lesson that British administration was characterized by open economic exploitation, marginalization and discrimination. It came to a point that Nigerians came together to break the shackles of colonialism in the country. This brings us to today's topic, titled Nationalism in Nigeria. Let's start with the meaning of nationalism. Nationalism can be defined as a consciousness and feeling of oneness among a group of people to agitate for freedom, self-government or independence. Who is a nationalist? A nationalist is an individual who agitates or advocates for the independence of a country. Male and female nationalists came together to advocate for the independence of Nigeria. Examples are Abad Makoli, the man who is remembered as the father of Nigerian nationalism. What about Unambi Azikiwe, the Zik of Africa? Amadou Belo, Tafawa Balewa, Atone Nauro, Female nationalists were not left out in the vanguard in agitating for the independence of Nigeria. We have Queen Amina of Zaria, Fumila Yoram Sonkuti, and Margaret Epo, who actually would complemented the effort of the male nationalists in achieving their objective. Let's look at the strategies adopted by the nationalists in achieving their objective. Now, it is important to know here that the nationalists did not embark on physical confrontation with the British colonialists. They adopted different means, such as newspaper publication, organized protest, boycott, strike, in achieving what their aim of securing the independence of Nigeria. Several newspapers, such as the Daily Comet, the Lagos Daily Newspaper, and the West African Pilot, were published by nationalists in disseminating information to early Nigerians to conscientize them on the evils of British administration in the country. The various newspaper publications stimulated Nigerians in coming together to speak in one voice to fight against the British administrators. For the first time in the history of Nigeria, Nigeria put aside tribalism, sectionalism, nepotism, and came together to speak in one voice in fighting against a common enemy known as the British colonialist. Now let's look at the various motions that were moved at the National Assembly that paved way for the independence of Nigeria. A motion in this context means a proposal at the National Assembly moved by a parliamentarian to execute a particular word idea. The, the first historic motion that paved way for the independence of Nigeria was moved by Chief Anthony Eromoselli in Nauru on April 1st, 1953, proposing that Nigeria should gain her independence in 1956. The proposal or motion was opposed at the National Assembly by the Northerners led by Sir Amadou Bello. The fact they were not ready for independence as a result of fear of marginalization. Sequel to the failure of the motion moved in 1953, subsequent motions came up that actually was stimulated the consciousness for the freedom of Nigeria. In 1956, another motion was moved by Samuel Lado K. Akintola. In 1957, Fanikayo they moved a motion as well. Not until 1959, when the last motion was moved by Sir Tafawa Balewa, which eventually paved way for the freedom or independence of Nigeria on October 1st, 1960. Nigerians backs in the euphoria of independence when the Union Jack or the British flag was lowered in Lagos and the Nigerian flag, the green, white, green, symbolizing freedom, independence or self-government was hosted, which actually what paved way for the independence of the country. You may not be able to do what the nationalists did in this dispensation. 
but you can contribute your quota in having or creating a better Nigerian society through the spirit of voluntarism and patriotism. We will end the class here. Make use of your notes and question box if there are areas not clear to you on the topic. Send me questions for clarification. See you in our next class. Bye.